Axodic, or better still, you call me Axod. In this video, I'll be teaching you about the introduction to graphic design, which features all what you should know about graphic design before diving into it. The first thing we'll be looking at is we are going to look at four features, four things inside this video. And the first thing will be the pros and cons of graphic design. Then the second one will be practical skills to be a graphic designer. Then the third will be psychological skills to be a graphic designer. Then the fourth will be the talent needed to become a graphic designer. Now, let's take each of these features one after the other. The first one which says the pros and cons of graphic design. And when we are talking about pros and cons, that's the advantages and the disadvantages of graphic design. And bearing in mind that there's nothing in this world that won't add, have advantage and disadvantages. So just think of anything. Even you being rich, you, you have, having money, you having a car, all those things. They have their own side effects. Likewise, graphic designing, it has its own also. Now, let's just look at the pros of graphic design, or in other words, the advantages of graphic design. The first one will be creative, then challenging, expressive, rewarding, then the last one, which is career prospects. Let's just look at them one after the other. The first one is creative. That is to say, as a graphic designer, graphic design makes you very creative. Just imagine some things and you bring it out as a project. That's graphic design for you. Then the second one is challenging. Graphic design is somehow challenging sometimes. You may face some problems, you may face some difficulties, you may face all those things. They are challenging. They are challenging things that graphic design makes you face and those things make you stronger they make you more stronger in this life and the third one is expressive graphic design makes you expressive of yourself for example the issue around part now which is the rape issue like a graphic designer now you should be able to express yourself what's happening around you put it down and you create it as a design that's the work of a graphic designer. Then the fifth one is what? Career prospects. Graphic design makes you think ahead of time. Okay, can I, I think I can do this work as a, as a job. I can take it as a job. That's graphic design. It creates opportunity for people to make a livelihood. Then the other part, which is the cons of graphic design, or in other words, the disadvantages of graphic design. The first one will be competitive, then long working hours, then it's a desk work, then scarcity of the right job, then the last one, which is dealing with bad clients. The first one, which is competitive. As we all know, graphic design is summer competitive. It's summer competitive. All around you, we see people doing graphic designing, this one advertising, this one advertising, this one teaching people, all those things. Graphic design is somehow competitive. But what makes you unique and uh, makes you stand out among others is your, your competence, your sincerity, and all those things that do appear and that do affect one's business positively. Then the second one is long working hours. As a graphic designer, you should be able to know that you'll be working for a long period of hours. For example, they just gave you a project, a design to do. You can be using more than one hour, two hours, three hours. And some people, yeah, uh, I, I don't have much time to do all the design. So such people, you just see them just living graphic designing. But as a graphic designer, as a true graphic designer, you should know that you should be able to create more time for your work as it requires much time. Then the third one is a, is a desk work. 
you have to sit on your chair you you put your you then on the table uh, on the, you put you sit on the chair then in front of the table and all those things for example you are using laptop you put your laptop on the table and you walk even for like hours if, or even for days depending on the amount of the work or even even you are using your phone you can be pressing phone while you're working or while you're sleeping you have to be you have to sit comfortably then the next one is the scarcity of the right job scarcity of the right job as we all know in this world entirely particularly in these african countries we know work to acquire a job or a work is quite difficult especially this uh, when you talk about nigeria as a whole it's very it's quite difficult to acquire a job but notwithstanding there are still companies there are still organizations there are still firms and all those things who do need a graphic designer and and, and the related courses then the next one is dealing with bad clients you know some customers they may be who oh, sometimes they may need a quality job a quality work but they won't have the money and all those things will be face insults and all, and all those things men are born to do such a thing then we go to the next one the second one which is practical skills to be a graphic designer and under that we have verbal communication drawing and sketching ability to handle software attention to points then research under the first one which is verbal communication you should be able to converse with your customers with your clients with people you should be able to speak your mind out that is the essence of being a graphic designer the you express what is inside of you then the next one drawing and sketching you be able to draw, you sketch, you draft, you do a rough draft of what you want to do. For example, you want to do a wedding invitation. You have to draft it out first. Particularly if the customer or the clients you have, they have a specific choice and the way they want their uh, their IV to look like. Okay, we want you to put an umbrella here. We want you to put a love look, a love image here we want you to all those things you have to be very to be able to know how to draw to sketch you love sketching so before you even dive into designing with your maybe your computer or your phone you're able to sketch out on a paper okay this is where my the heading of what i want to design will be this is where the name will be this is where the, all those things the venue the all those things you have to know you have to put them down first before indulging into graphic designing in reality. Then the next one is ability to handle software. You should be able to handle software. Not, you know, some people they are their phobia is in maybe operating all these systems, uh, operating computers, or operating phones. Even sometimes, if you want to teach some people, okay. Please let me teach you how to do this thing. They will know. Don't even bother to teach me. I won't even know it. So such people, you can't expect them to be good in graphic designing. Because graphic designing deals with being able to operate software and all those and all those things related. Then the next one is attention to points. You should be very attentive to points. Because you are not writing a newspaper, nor a storybook, nor a magazine. So it shouldn't be verb it shouldn't be garrulous or it shouldn't be very verbose. You should pick out the points and use the point to design your work. Since you have just a minimal amount of space you can use to design. Then the fifth one is research. You should be able to research your work before indulging into it. Like some people, they may think, okay, I want to design something about something. For example, the rape issue we, we, which is going on. Some people may want to write something, just design something on it. You know, don't forget, I already said we should be what? We should be attention to points. You want to derive the point out of all those stories, but you didn't even research about anything around you. You didn't know what happened in this particular country. In a, so what do you want to write about? 
no such a uh, graph designer will be what the aftermath will be failure because he or she doesn't research well before designing anything then the third one is psychological skills to be a graphic designer another that we have the creative discipline the confidence then accept criticism then determination from be for bearing failure then tolerance and let's look at them one after the other creative discipline you should be able to be creative in your work being able to join one plus one to make two and being able to look at okay let me place this one here let me place this one here let me make this trial and before you know it it becomes an a meaningful outcome for you and the next one is confidence the next one is confidence confidence means when you are confident of yourself when you rely fully on yourself you have the mindset of i can do it myself i don't even need anyone to guide me i can do it so that's the mindset a graphic designer should have being able to okay can you do this work even if you haven't done it before you can i i am why won't i i can be able to do I, I will be able to do it then you put it into practice you work and work on it before you know it you have already got it done you have already got it done then the next one is determination is criticism is to accept criticism some clients some customers you know they do criticize oh, is this what you said you designed for even three hours so you don't have to be sad or uh, or to be freaked you are, just have to be patient then you work more then you work more and you would have a better result then the fourth one is determination you have to be determined this is what i want this is how i want my design to be all those things you should be determined because if you are determined just see that you are straight away by the by the criticism or by failure then the fifth one is forbearing failure you're able to forbear failure you should be able to be adamant and resistive to failure no i can fail even if such a thing happen you should be able to uh, to to be able to to uh, how, would, how would i call it you should be able to tell yourself uh, i won't say this failure make me uh, make me downward i would be able to continue with this thing then the next one is tolerance you should be able to be patient on your work it's it takes endurance you should be able to endure to be patient to be tolerant and all those things then we are looking at the fourth one which is talent needed to become a graphic designer the first one will be passion then the second imagination the third creativity then the fourth which is problem solving let's look at the first one which is passion you have to be passionate about your work because graphic designing as we have already thought about it, it this with some difficult aspects so if you aren't passionate about your work it's easy that you just leave it out and just work out of it i'm not becoming a graphic designer again so you, sh you should be passionate about your work you have passion in this work and then you go for it then the next one is imagination you should be able to imagine what you want to do okay i want to do this thing like this like this like this and you bring it out and it makes a meaningful outcome that is imagination you should be able to imagine something meaningful then the third one is creativity you should be able to create something some new things as i already said you create some new things some new ideas some new designs even that haven't been head of so you create it then the fourth one is problem solving you solve problems for example you are working and maybe a small child just disrupt everything you are doing so what will you do you just stand and be very angry with the child and okay i'm not doing this design again i've already you have already collected the money or what so you have to just sit and you sit back and you trace the problem you solve it out and boom you're already done with the with in solving the problem 
I think this is where we stop for this particular video. Let's check out for the next video. And don't forget to like, to comment, if any, to share for family and friends, and to subscribe. Stay blessed, I remain action.